Hug in Andy with HandyAndyHome.com. Welcome back to another quick inspection run through. Today we're out here for Michael Smith with Chapman Hall, and he's just sold this gorgeous home. And what always throws me on these houses, this is a $600,000 house, and they just, they all the builders and handyman, they cut short on these repair trim pieces. And so we're on the left side of the dormer here, and these are just inspection repairs. So uh, this is another one of those deals where the buyer and the seller have each agreed what they're gonna do, uh, and now they're bringing us in to come and do the repairs. So on the left side dormer right here, this gutter didn't quite have the right pitch and they never back primed or caulked that fascia board. So we got some rot right here in this corner that we're gonna need to repair. And on the bottom edges of the dormer right here, you see this little corner piece of the molding above, right here and right here, you need to repair, replace both of those. And the difference with us, when we do these repairs, all of our wood is back primed on all edges. We paint it with premium materials, we caulk it with premium materials. We put a three year warranty on that stuff but really, in reality, if it rots out at any time, you let us know, uh, and we'll probably just do it for free. And we very rarely get called back on any of our wood repairs. Most of that stuff should last really indefinitely. Um, the caulk's gonna fail eventually. We use a elastomeric either by Porter or Sherwin Williams. It's five, six bucks a tube, versus the 99 cent stuff that most of the handymen are using out here. So in the back of the house, and you see this on a lot of videos, and these three windows on what would be the main floor or the second floor from the, the back of the house, you'll see they've used finger, and all the builders do this, so don't be upset about it. It's all finger jointed wood, and if you don't keep it caulked and painted properly, uh, this stuff will just rot out again. What we end up coming in with here, and you can't see it with the camera, but it's got a little bit of a, a beveled edge to it, so the water will shed. What most handyman will do is they'll come in here and they'll piece this thing in, uh, or if they tear the whole piece out, they just put a flat two by two in there. It doesn't shed water or rot back out. So my brother will actually come out and cut this stuff at an angle. We won't have finger jointed wood for these centers. We'll have a continuous piece of wood on these three windows. And then it'll be painted, painted to match the rest of the trim around it. On the lower level down here, um, and I actually can see it from up high. So on the third floor right here, the window closest to the deck, camera's having a tough time kind of grasping it, but you're gonna have the center right here. See the rod in that center piece? So the same thing, we're not using finger jointed materials. We'll cut in raw wood, we'll back prime it, we'll break out the saws and cut to actually fit that center. And you got the same thing on the left window over here. Uh, that center has to be repaired and we'll see it again on this left window here. So you didn't have a ton of stuff to do on the house, but it's all those little things. Uh, so we do the inspection repairs, we do any kind of carpentry, painting, we don't get to paint a lot of houses anymore because we hand paint and nobody wants to pay for that anymore, so we don't do it. So here's the, the triple window at the left rear corner of the house, and you'll see the center right here, and it's all the same stuff. They didn't caulk it, they didn't back prime it, so that's rotted out. Um, but the trick with these is that his centers and his brick molding is grooved so that these screens can fit into the grooves. Um, and I guess we had this bottom one right here too, so we've got we didn't talk about it when we came out, but that bottom center at the basement level and that rear window also needs to be repaired. So that's it for this particular job. Hopefully we get out here and get this knocked out for him this week. Uh, I'm Andy with Handy Andy. We pretty much do everything, any kind of repairs, maintenance stuff. You ask it, we do it. Uh, we're at 770-912-2829. See you at the next house. Bye for now.